What's up guys, it's Deftone here, and I'm going to do a tutorial for you on how to use texture mods for your PC version of Borderlands 2. Uh, note to console users, you cannot do this for your consoles, this is PC only. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. So first of all, you're going to want to download text mod, which is going to be in the description, the little download link, and save it wherever you want and uh, extract it. And once you extract it, you want to copy the actual text mod file. Uh, as you see, the little TM icon right here, it's renamed to Launcher at the moment, but uh, I'll get to that in a moment. So you want to copy that file and you want to drop it into the C program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Borderlands 2, Binaries, Win32, and you'll notice you'll have your Launcher and your Borderlands 2 file. So you want to paste that text mod file in this folder and what you want to do next is you want to rename the launcher file. So you're going to rename it to launcher1 or whatever you want, doesn't really matter as long as this is different than launcher. And then you're going to rename the text mod file name to launcher. And once you do that you want to go back to your Steam library. So once you have your Steam library, you want to navigate to where your Borderlands 2 and click play. And if you did it correctly, you should have this pop up right here. And I noticed that uh, whenever Borderlands 2 updates on Steam, it sometimes renames the or replaces the application file. So you might need to redo this if uh, another update pops up for Borderlands 2. So what you want to do is go ahead and select the application, and you'll notice that. For new users, you'll just have browse. You won't have this little history list that I have. So what you want to do is navigate to the same folder as your launcher file is in the text mod. And if you guys have a problem navigating, I'll go ahead and just have it in the description of where you want to find the files. So you want to make sure you open the borderlands2.exe, not the launcher. Make sure it's the borderlands2.exe file. Once you have that loaded, uh, you want to stay on the package mode tab and the next step would be to load the actual texture mod. So you want to go to browse again and find where you save the .tpf files and you can get them all over the place on the Gearbox forums on the, or other couple websites. Uh, this is just for tutorial purposes so uh, I'm just going to do this as an example. I have my custom Krieg one that I made so I'm going to load that. You can also load multiple ones at the same time. And once you do that, you want to hit run. And I'm not going to do that because it's automatically going to switch uh, video outputs and you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So that's pretty much it. Once you have it loaded, you should select the character that you have the texture mod applied to. Uh, <clears throat> most of the texture mods are not universal except for the ones pertaining to weapons or any other items that's universal. If they're characters, they're only going to work on that specific character model. So. What I'm going to do in my next video is I'm going to give you all the download links for the, uh, the, the Gage and Maya skins and eventually I'll have my Krieg uh, thing finished. It's about 70% uh, done. Uh, it's taking a lot of time to get it nice and perfect. So once I have that done, I'll go ahead and post the download link with the video as well. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments. Please give a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I appreciate your guys time and watching my video and take out.